Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to another QuickBooks video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use purchase orders on QuickBooks Online, the basics of purchase orders. The first thing you need to do is go to the gear cog icon at the top right of QuickBooks, go to accounts and settings, go to expenses in the left hand sidebar, and ensure that purchase orders is switched on. If it's not on, you're not going to see the feature on the software. So just put purchase orders on, click, make it green here, make sure you save, and then go back to your QuickBooks Online software. With purchase orders, the only way we can raise them is by searching for purchase orders up here. So you can type in purchase orders or by going to a supplier's account. So this is a supplier. This is my website, by the way, freebookkeepingaccounting.com. It's a dummy supplier on the software. We go to new transaction and go to purchase order. If you know how to raise bills, how to record supplier invoices on the software, then doing a purchase order will be nice and easy because the template is very similar. So purchase order and we fill in the details. A couple of things to note. Number one, the shipping address will show as the company's default address. So this will fill in by default using the address details on QuickBooks Online. You can obviously highlight this and change this. If you are drop shipping or for whatever reason want the goods to be delivered to a customer site, then you can choose your customer up here and what it will do, it will fill in the shipping address as per the customer's details. If I put cheeseburger man, this shipping address is now changed to cheeseburger man's address. Just like bills, there's lots of boxes that we can fill out, such as the date, location, tags, etc. We put in the item details. Alternatively, you can put in category details. So if we use the item details here, it will record the amounts in stock and allocate the amount to purchases on the profit and loss account. If we do categories, then it will allocate the purchase order once raised as a bill to an actual nominal code, such as bank charges or entertaining, something like that. So let's just put in a product here. Let's say we want five of these at £25 each. We can save our purchase order. That is now saved on the system. We can send the purchase order directly from QuickBooks online, or we can print and download the purchase order. So this is what the purchase order looks like. We have the product and the description we entered, the quantity and the price. There's an approved and date also on this purchase order, as well as other information. This can be edited just like other forms on QuickBooks online can be edited. Once it's been sent to the customer and the goods arrived and we received the bill, then you can simply click on the drop down list and click copy to bill. That will then create a bill using the purchase order to fill in the information here. So I don't have to do anything apart from perhaps change the date and put in the invoice number. I can then save that and that bill has been recorded to QuickBooks Online and there is a link between the bill and the purchase order. So there's two buttons here that link those documents together. So it's quite easy. You can search a purchase order up here. You can go to a supplier's account. Either or, you're taken to this screen. You fill in the details, enter the information you need to enter. Once again, this is for the, the nominal codes, the chart of accounts. Down here, this is for tracking actual purchases, such as items in stock. Once the purchase order is saved and the goods are received, you can then create a bill from that purchase order and everything will be saved on the supplier's account. Hopefully this video has helped. Check out my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com. I can teach you everything and anything about QuickBooks online. It's all for free, no registration required.